when we started making the series, uh, we asked the Air Force for one shot of Cheyenne Mountain. And they said, well, you can have it for nothing, and, but we'd like to read the script and we'd like you to portray the Air Force accordingly. And we said, well, would you mind reading the scripts and making sure they're accurate technically? And they have a whole department that is dedicated to that. The Air Force Entertainment Office has been involved with the Star Cape franchise for over 10 years. We've been involved with the show for so long. There's an inherent relationship. It's almost as if our office is part of the family. These people are very professional. They're, they uh, take their job seriously and, and see in some of their episodes, they are very realistic. So I, I, I appreciate that they do that. It makes us look good. The Navy invited us to uh, come and play on the ice and, and kind of look around. And I said, well, if we're going to go there, I mean, can we shoot there? And they said, yeah, we can do that. And I said, well, if there's going to be a nuclear submarine there, can we shoot it coming through the ice? And they said, yeah, we can do that. And I said, well, can we shoot on the submarine? And they said, sure. So <laughs> I said, OK. And I started writing scenes. We're always happy to help the Air Force. In this movie, we have two F-15s They'd come in and are a big part of our show. And the actors are inside them and they're flying them and we're flying them around. Fly, 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 fly. It's a jet fighter, a very expensive, very cool jet fighter. And we went to the Air Force, the Air Force said, sure, where do you want us and when? The Navy threw in a nuclear submarine, so the Air Force went, well, we have to ante up. Here, have a couple of F-15s to fly around in. We hope that we serve them in a positive light because they serve us every day. Stargate Continuum, in stores July 29. Pre-order now at stargate.mgm.com.